Arkansas cable providers are connecting our state to the world through our state-of-the-art broadband networks, educators, health care providers, emergency responders, law enforcement personnel, and consumers have access to the information superhighway like never before, many times at greatly reduced costs. That's our commitment to making Arkansas a leader in the digital age. Arkansas cable providers are indeed connecting our state to the world, and we're just getting started. Little Rock-based Cranford Johnson Robinson Woods, Arkansas's largest advertising, marketing, and public relations agency, has named Darren Gray as president of the firm. Wayne Woods will continue to serve as chairman and CEO. Gray will assume his duties immediately and will continue to live in northwest Arkansas, where CJRW has a major office presence. I'm joined in studio by Wayne Woods, and from northwest Arkansas, we have Darren Gray. Gentlemen, Welcome to both of you. I'm Thank proud you. to have both of you with us here. And so, Wayne, I want to start with you first. Where and how did this discussion begin to recruit Darren Gray, former publisher of the Northwest Arkansas Business Journal, to uh, the CJR? Darren and I have been friends for 20, 25 years, you know, and we just got to talking one day and we played the what if game. And um, then, really, a few months ago, we, we really started talking serious, and he was thinking about. He wanted to do something else in his life, and I knew we needed some some leadership, some good leadership at the agency, someone who uh, uh, was very well respected and in, in, in knew Northwest Arkansas, someone who knew how to lead. There was a leader that was that was in. He, he knew he had to be a multifaceted businessman, mm -hmm. and who also had contacts statewide, and also who thought similar to my brother and I and the rest of our company and. We're so much alike that we think alike and about family and God and, you know, wives and business. And it just, excuse the pun, it was a natural. Yeah, <laughs> all right, the natural state there. Great play on words there. And Darren, uh, your last name is not Woods, but uh, you might have to adopt that as your new last name, uh, the way Wayne's talking about you here. Tell me what you bring to the table. Your background is predominantly in print media, but the world's going digital. You obviously have a background in the parks and tourism industry as well, which is important for CJRW, but tell me what you think you bring to the table here. You bet, Roby. You know, over the last almost decade, uh, especially being in the publishing business, we've certainly had to adopt social media, electronic, interactive type of media coverage and, and uh, with all of our publications, uh, taking our own company and our own products and taking them to digital and online and email blast. You know, the reality is, Roby, is all these companies are all in the same boat, and that is, uh, you know, we're still delivering content, we're still delivering our messages, but how we do that nowadays is so much different than what we used to. And because people are living longer, most of us are serving generations beyond what we ever imagined. So within the scope of our clientele, we may have some that want print only, and, and we certainly have some that want digital only. Most of us are somewhere in between. And so over time, what we've become, it's a term I like to use, is, is format agnostic, which means we have to present our content content and our message in many multiple formats and then de de deciding or depending on the consumer they're going to choose which way they read and, and consume that information so it's not only in the media business but it's all companies and the strategy is still the same even though the technology is different is you have to understand where your clients are uh, where your customers live and then reach out in multi-facets and then they're going to consume that information uh, depending on their own preferences and how they like to read their information. Yeah, the analogy that I like to use a lot is banking. How do you want to bank? You want an internet bank? Yeah. You want to go to an ATM, go through the drive through window? It all yeah. kind of works. Yeah. Wayne, let me come to you with a different question here. Bringing in someone from the outside can be dangerous for companies, particularly well-established companies. Uh, you've got risks in terms of making sure somebody does fit in with a corporate culture and a group of people that have been working together for years. Well, what makes Darren just such a natural fit in the CJRW mold? Well, I mean, he, he thinks like we do, and um, he's so well respected, you know, in the business communities across Arkansas. Um, you know, we saw some great opportunities in Northwest Arkansas. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Darren is the president of CJRW, and not just in Northwest Arkansas, but the entire state. Like, I'm the CEO of our company for the entire state. So, um, you know, we just had so many things that were similar, and the more we talked, uh, the more I realized that he he was the one guy that we were looking for, 
and we had a couple other candidates out there, but but I always wanted Darren, and um, once my brother got on the wagon with him, then it was, you know, we, we, we our executive committee voted unanimously for him, so did our board of directors. Uh, I think today and yesterday he got 600 emails <laughs> congratulating <laughs> him, okay. <laughs> so uh, I got 150 on my little old phone, so, you know, I mean, we're looking for big things and, and uh, you know, he's, he's, he's part of our future. We've got a great group of people that work here in Little Rock and in Northwest Arkansas. You know, we, we deal with some big corporations up there, very demanding, mm -hmm. very competitive. Um, but, uh, you know, you're only as good as the people you work with, and I think that's one of the reasons also Darren joined us is that he saw the quality of people that we have, and, uh, you know, we're, we know our stuff in some areas, we yeah. really do, and I'm proud of that fact, you know. Darren, let's come to you on this part of the equation as well, too. Wayne's talked a lot about the growth and the potential for Northwest Arkansas. I will uh, underscore, he says you're the statewide president there. But tell me what uh, you being rooted in Northwest Arkansas, what do you see needs to happen for Cranford Johnson, Robinson Woods in Northwest Arkansas? What do you hope to develop up there? Well, I think it's like any other company. It's certainly in Northwest Arkansas, we have such a diverse uh, economic industry sector. And so you've got everything from the big uh, companies up here to the vendors that serve them, uh, down to the local mom and pop uh, shops. And so what you have to be to nowadays is be able to answer and respond to any of those types of companies and industry sectors. And I'll kind of back up something that Wayne said was that, you know, within the organization that's already there, they have such a diverse group of, of expertise and backgrounds and so there are people that are specifically uh, associated and understanding of, of uh, uh, consumer product goods companies and retailing and tourism and, and, and manufacturing and new technology and so uh, the diversification of the company has to match the diversification of the region that you're trying to serve and so I think the opportunities in Northwest Arkansas is, is, is maybe in the past that they've served maybe a smaller group of clients although uh, somewhat diverse but you know part of my goal and objective now is to spread that out and become a lot more diversified in Northwest Arkansas. Because the expertise is in-house, now you just got to let the people know that. And of course, each one of those industry sectors, you have to serve in a different format and a different way. And so it's kind of that general understanding of how those people and how those products and, and companies work differently, even though they, they make up the whole economic region. There are very specific needs uh, when you're entering to a retailer versus a manufacturing company or even a local chamber of commerce or a tourism uh, tour tourism related type of, of scenario and, and that's what I was so happy about is that when I was looking for what's next I wanted to kind of continue that opportunity to work on a statewide level uh, my background was actually in economic development and, and traveled the state of Arkansas for the state economic development agency right out of college and so because of that that gave me a wonderful opportunity to meet people of all kinds stature nature uh, industry sector and and what you have to boil it back down to Roby is people are still people and people still want to do well in Arkansas. They're corporations, they're communities and uh, I'm just a guy that grew up in Arkansas. I love Arkansas and that's something that certainly CJRW and the Woods Brothers and myself shared for all these years with that when you take it all away we have this genuine love for Arkansas and Arkansans and hoping that, you know the best for them and wanting to see them grow and prosper and because of that that diversity that I mentioned makes it possible for us to serve a very diverse group all over the state of Arkansas. You mentioned your economic development background. You've also got a great background in tourism, which is a big, uh, important uh, client base for CJRW2. All right, I've got about 60 seconds left. So last question to you, Wayne. An obvious question is, um, you're not getting any younger. Is no. Darren being brought in? Are you grooming this guy to take well, over as chairman you know, and CEO? I mean, as I told our staff, now, you know, I mean, my brother and I, we're not going to be around forever, but we're not going to be leaving tomorrow. We're going to be working with Darren uh, for several years. We, like I said, we got a great leadership group here in Little Rock and in, in Fayetteville, and uh, we'll see, you know. Let, let's see if the boy can cut the mustard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darren.
trying to get your promotion already. You haven't even been on the job for a week, so uh, you'll owe me on that one, okay? <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. All right. That's right. Hey, we are a PR firm, right? We, you got to get it out there. That's right. You that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Wayne Woods, CEO of Cranford Johnson Robinson Woods, Darren Gray, president of CJRW. Thank you both much for Thank being you. here. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. It's great, great fun to be here. I'm Thanks, Roby Brock. Appreciate this it. is Talk Business. We are back to wrap up right after this final word from our sponsors.